Welcome back people, this is the third video about ebook creation. Now what this third video is going to be about is to show you how to do some bookmarking and hyperlinking in your um, ebook. Basically all I've done here and why I'm, I'm on this page is a Word document and I kind of set up, I've set out my my e-cover temporary one I don't, I'm not sure I might even use this one uh, and I've used that for the e-cover anyway and I've created something for it so here we are I'm just now pressing um, control tab on my keypad and scrolling my mouse wheel and bringing this back into its original size so I have now kind of set up the um, e-cover design and um, I've probably got a bit more work to do on my legal disclaimer or whichever but the idea here is that most ebooks some ebooks you know if you come into the table of contents and you're interested in a particular chapter you can usually click on that chapter and it'll take you direct there yeah but there are a lot of PLR books or PLR books just ebooks in general that don't seem to offer that practice because they don't they're not sure how to do that so I'm going to show how to do that um, but as well as I'm going to also I, I'm going to I do normally put return to table of contents after the end um, at the bottom of any page at the end of the chapter to allow that if you had a long ebook that you can people can you know have the choice of going directly straight back up to the table of contents it's just to help the you know help to make people feel more lazy in their in in uh, comfortable in their lazy mood, <laughs> I had that all um, topsy turvy there. All right, so so let's go straight to it. Ignore all this rubbish down the bottom here. These are just my notes um, that I'm taking here. Um, all, I've I've managed to get the first three chapters done at least, uh, and I'm working on on the fourth. So well, let's start by doing those. So first, I want to make a bookmark. So the idea of the bookmark is to bookmark the area or the page that you want to hyperlink to. So for argument's sake, I'm just going to bookmark it to in the word introduction here for this actual page. I could I could bookmark any area, but I'm, I'm highlighting the word introduction here. So then I go into insert that using the top menu bar, and I'll pick. I'll click on to bookmark and you'll come up this dialog box here so if you kind of type in whatever it is will remind you you know what this bookmarks all about I just uh, may as well say intro oh, I could put in intro yeah I okay. can't no I'll do um, introduction and so I'm naming it so I can recognize it and then all I've got to do is on the right hand side there is click add that's done so that's the bookmark. Bookmark's about where you want it to go to, yeah? So now if I come back to my table of contents and I'm going to highlight the word introduction here and I'm going to create a hyperlink for that. So of course the the bookmark we created earlier is now in it, you know, is now available for this hyper you know, for you to create a hyperlink to it or anywhere else for that matter so for example if you wanted to if you want someone to click onto that introduction and go to somewhere on a web page you can stick an earl or something in there by what you know you click onto um, a web page or something and you, you can stick an earl in there but we are going to a page in the document so click the page in a document and of course you know as you make these bookmarks you'll see those you know all the name all those names that you created down on the list here so I'm going to click introduction because that's where I, that's my target, yeah, and then click OK. Now that what they'll basically do now is, if I press Control and delete, is take me directly to that page. Simple, isn't it? So you know you run all the way through those things to do that. So okay, so I'm going to now create that one for the return to table of contents in which case I'm going to highlight the words table of contents 
to make the bookmark out of that. Remember the bookmark is more where you want the hyperlink to go to in this instance. So I'm going to bookmark that and um, of course I'm not going to, I'm going to I've done that wrong very sorry I'm going to delete what there is in there in that bookmarker's name and I'm going to put table uh, table, what? table of content uh, yeah okay so I'm going to pop in there table of contents and I'm going to add that in okay so don't do what I did before and just press add you know you want to keep the introduction in there otherwise you're going to lose that of the hyperlink so just um, erase what was in there originally in the name put in your own words and then click add uh, for some reason it's not allowing me to I think it doesn't like gaps it doesn't like gaps that's what it's all about I forgot I completely forgot about that so if it doesn't like gaps so make sure there's no gaps in the words so you know you're basically just creating something that reminds you where you want it to go so there we go I'm going to press add so I've created the bookmark for table of contents and it's exactly the same principle now I'm going to highlight the return to table of contents And create a hyperlink for that and as I said before table of contents is now created there for the bookmark I've got I've made sure I've got this um, place in the document click table of contents click OK and then if we hover our mouse over it control and click it takes us directly to the page of the table of contents and of course you'd repeat that process all the way down for all your pages once they're done and um, that's basically that so you know I mean this is a great way um, you know to do things I mean it, it, it'll be okay for me to um, be able to, to do all this and have it as a, a template you know so I'd never need to be bothering with all this fiddly stuff again but unfortunately you know not every chapter is ever going to be called the same thing in any different ebook so it's not really um, not it's not really doable as a template but um, that's the way it is okay so hopefully that's um put that to right and i shall do any further videos i feel they'll be helpful to you